Hello everybody, welcome to one of my videos. My name's Jamie and I'm from Morgan's Games. Welcome to part two of the unboxing video. Hopefully you've watched part one. I've already played and unboxed lots of games already, but it's not done yet, which is why this is my first ever two-part video for my channel, Morgan's Games. But anyway, enough chit-chat, let's get cracking. Part two, Morgan's Games, unboxing, let's go. Okay, next one is Grandstand. This actually confused me at first because it says Amiga on the back, but it says C64 on the front. This is from Domark, uh, but it is cassette. It is cassette. It's got two cassettes. Um, yeah, never heard of this one either. Uh, we got Gazza's Super Soccer. We have Pro Tennis Tour, Continental Circus, and World Class Leaderboard. And I played that on the Amiga. But there we go, a big box version on the C64, that's a nice touch. That'd be good. Empire presents Gazza's Super Soccer. That is Paul Gascoigne right there. Okay, no music it seems. Main menu, create league, create cup, play friendly or demo. Whereas this is an unboxing, we'll go for a friendly, shall we? Player versus player or computer versus computer. Unless my cat wants to play, it's going to have to be player versus computer. Now, I've never played this. In fact, I don't think I've played any football games on the C64. Friendly, Arsenal versus Spurs. Now, this is going to be an incredibly old game, which means it's going to be incredibly old players. Thomas. Fred. Okay, I've renamed the players. We now have Bert, Nigel, Phil, Gary, Sean, Dwayne, Thomas, Fred, Jamie, Alan, and Bill. That is Arsenal. I'm Arsenal. Okay, first half. I am Arsenal, who should be red, they're white. Playing Tottenham Hotspurs should be white, they're blue. That's going to confuse me. Right, the one that flashes is the one you are controlling. So I am Arsenal on the left, in white. Tottenham are blue on the right. So the colours are a little bit all over the place. Now this is 1986 so the players are going to be rather old but I'm assuming Gaza is playing for Tottenham Hotspurs not for Arsenal. Right. Uh, now this is actually a computer. That's a save by the goalie. The goalies are controlled by the player it seems. I, think. I don't think they should be flashing. Right, Jamie, you need to hold that button down a little bit longer, otherwise it's going to go poof. That is it. It's just a little poof. It's not going to do anything. Right. Dwayne is on the ball. Dwayne shoots the ball. It's gone in. I've scored. Dwayne has scored. Well done, Dwayne. 1 0 to Arsenal. I am off the mark. Not goal of the season. But it is goal of this video. Okay, right. So one minute to go until half time. Ooh, Thomas! Thomas is running off the ball. He has it. He has it. He shoots the ball and it goes way wide. You should be ashamed of yourself, Thomas. The goalie has the ball. He boots it up the pitch and five seconds left. It's looking like we're going to go into the half-time winning 1-0. Throws the ball into nobody. Nobody gets the ball. Dwayne runs after the ball that he threw. Half-time. Arsenal 1. Spurs 0. Okay, we will join the action. This is Arsenal 1. Spurs 0. Three minutes still to play in the second half. Can Arsenal keep their lead? Can Spurs equalise? We shall see. Dwayne has the ball. That was very nearly a goal by Spurs. Goal kick. Bert has the ball. He kicks the ball up the pitch. And it goes straight back to the opposition. And he just boots it out for no reason. Throw in to Arsenal who is in white. Yeah. And he throws it and there's nobody there. It goes to Spurs. And he just boots it and it hits the post. And he just walks it in. Right. Tottenham 
won. Spurs won. That was a terrible goal to give away. So, one each. That's gone out again. We've got 26 seconds. No. Oh, this could be the last chance. Thomas has the ball. Thomas has the ball. He kicks it to nobody. And he, 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 oh, Thomas is on the ball. He's gone. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's scored. Thomas scores with four seconds to go. Two one to Arsenal. That is surely the winner. They can't score in three seconds. Two seconds. One second. There we go. It's a 2-1 win to Arsenal versus Spurs. I do apologise to all you Spurs fans. I don't support Spurs or Arsenal. In fact, I don't follow football at all. <laughs> there we go, people. That is Gaza Super Soccer. The sales curve presents Continental Circus. Tieto, 1986. Tieto Corp, all rights reserved, distributed by Virgin Mastertronic. We have music in this game. Course 1, Brazil, current back 100. Let's go. Now when it comes to driving games, I'm not brilliant at them. Is this manual? Yes, it's manual. Okay. So this is Formula 1. This is Continental Circus. Not as fast as Outrun, and that's not really a bad thing, as I'm not brilliant at driving games. Whoa. Let's try and stay on the track. So far, so good. Right, all the opposition are blue. I'm the only red car in this race, it seems. That was definitely contact. Definitely contact. My car is smoking. Where's the pit? Well, they're getting overtaken by a car that is smoking and on fire. I'm on fire. My car is on fire. Uh, I need a pit. Very, 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 very urgently. And my car is going to explode. That's just typical. I'm actually doing quite well in a driving game and my car's on fire. This is not how I wanted it to plan out. I'm out of control! Uh, yeah. That's me done. Again. 80. Right, we have rank 86. 80 to qualify. Just don't hit anything. Don't get smoky. Don't get fire. And don't blow up. We're cooking on gas now! Rank 74! No, I'm not. I'm smoking now. I am smoking. My car is on fire. I ended the lap. I ended the race. My car was on fire. Rank 73. Seven seconds to go. I qualify. The chicken flag is waved. Look at that. No cars are there, but she's still waving it anyway. Course number two is America. Excuse me. Right. Rank. 73. Qualify. 60. Jamie from Mortgage Games is now starting to get the hang of this game. 64. I like that number. 63. 63. 62. 11 seconds to go. No, we're out of time. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I'll take that. You cannot get any closer than that. Zero seconds. Rank 60. Qualify 60. She waves to check a flag. Now, if the time carries on, I'm not going to get anywhere. Next up is France. Now we're in France. Time. 40, rank 60, qualify 50, once again Jamie, a terrible start, terrible start, 
Well, I've just lost five positions. We haven't even gotten around the first bend yet. 63! 62! I quite like this game. This is a really good game, actually. Uh, oh my word, I have to go for the middle. Nicely done, Jamie! Ten seconds to go, though! Ah, oh, I didn't qualify! Jay? That's a big space! Very big space! There we go! 54! There we go! I like that game! Ubisoft presents Pro Tennis Tour. Pro Tennis Tour Tournament Practice Mode Ranking. Practice? Two players, machine, service, main menu. Machine? Program one, yes. Whoa, okay. Hey, 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 ease up, ease up, ease up. Oh. Uh, I haven't hit a single ball yet. No. There's a hole in my racket. No. Yay! I hit the ball! I hit another one! I hit another one! That's out. I was on a run there. Three balls successfully hit with my racket. Nearly hit, <laughs> Nearly hit the guy in the face. There we go. Next tournament is Australian Open in Melbourne. First match is Jamie, ranking 32. That's not a bad start off with. Uh, against P. Dabs, ranking 29. Okay, quad please. The players are ready. The ball is bouncing. I think we've confirmed that the ball is bouncing. Okay, that's out. Okay, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Double fault. I am not surprised. Okay. There we go. It's in. I think this might be an easy win for the, the computer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. No. That is terrible. That is terrible. Right. Okay. Hey! I hit the ball! Hey! No. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yes! Go on a... No, it was out. Ah, oh, That was out. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear. For the computer, that is. Whoa! Can I have the ball back, please? Please, can I have the ball back? I don't think I've scored a single point yet, have I? Wow, that might be the only way to score. I've scored a point! However, I didn't earn it because he dull he didn't The O oh, so far the only point I've earned in this game was by a double fault by the computer. So if he just double faults all the time, I'll win this game. Oh yes, I got a lob! I don't know how I did it, but I'll take it. Oh, World class leaderboard. Actually, it says leaderboard world class. One. Type in my name. Enter. Hole one of Cypress Creek. Lots of trees. 453 yards to the pin. Now, I've got a one wood. If I if I was Happy Gilmore, I'd probably do it in one hit. Right. We'll go for one wood, and we're just going to go for maximum power. Four! There we go, nice and straight. Perfect. Right. Just waiting for the trees. Lots of trees. Right, we are 187 yards from the pin. Second shot. Let's go for a... a three iron. Four! There she goes. There she goes. Looks like we're on the green. Stop, 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 stop. 
Right. Uh, did that go over the green? I think it might well have done. It went off the green, so I need a pitching wedge. Pitching wedge. Not too hard. That's a bit too hard, Jamie. Right. Now, putting is where I struggle on games like this. I do have this on the Amiga. I struggled on the Amiga as well. We are 30 feet for the pin. Oh, so close. So close. Not close enough. This is for bogey. Right. Uh... Woohoo! I'll take that. Bogey. Plus one. There we go. Okay, you join us for Cypress Creek. This is hole two. Jamie at the tee. We are currently 452 yards to the pin. He has a one wood. Hit it, Jamie. Fire in the hole. There she goes. That didn't go all that far, really, did it? Hmm. Never mind. We'll go again. Shot number two. We are 230 yards to the pin. Alright, we'll go for a three iron. And this is going to have to be power. Power to the people. There she goes. I don't know if it's on the rough or on the green. I'm not sure. We're in the rough. There's the pin. We are 27 yards from the pin. Let's go for a pitching wedge. Not too much power, Jamie. Looks good. Looks very good. I'll take that. Right. Don't mess this up. I know I'm going to mess it up. Cause I always do. Right. I am three feet from the pin. Right. This is for par. Level par! So we stay as we are. We stay at plus one. Thanks to that bogey I got earlier. Okay, we arrived at hole three. Jamie at the tee. This time we have a bend. Right, so we don't need a lot of power here. Go for a one iron. We are 398 yards from the pin. Go for it. That's in the rough. That's in the rough, Jamie. No trees in my way. Right, we are 141 from the pin. Two iron. Again, not a lot of power. Fire in the hole! Stop, 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 stop! I think we're on the green in... No, we're not. Are we? No! Is, it, is this putting? No, we're not putting. How mean is that? Can I putt from here? Not bad. Not bad. Not too shabby. This for level par. Two feet from the pin. Jamie, surely you can do this. Five, four, four. Still one up, which is bogey. Right. Last one, Jamie. Par three. We have water, we have a bend, and we also have sand traps. Right, 228. Now, I'm not going to use a wood. I'm going to use a two iron and go for it. There she goes. Mind the trees. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Right. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. This is going to be tricky. We've got a 39. Right. Pitching wedge again, but a little bit more power this time. Down, 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 down. I hit the pin. I hit the pin. My words. Right. Okay. Five feet from the pin. Now the... No, it's going... No, it's going that way. No, it's going that way. There we go. Right, so... Uh, Woohoo! I 
getting good at this now. Five, four, four, three. We're still one over. Thanks to that bogey on the first hole. Hole five, par five. Here we go. Right, so we've got a lot of trees and another bend. Let's just hit and hope. Four. There we go. I'll take that. Two hundred and fifty eight, still a long way. Mm. There we go. There she goes. Mind that sand trap. I think we're just short of the rough. I think we're okay. Right, pitching wedge. We are seven no forty seven yards. I hit the pin again! <laughs> right! We're on the green in three. Now this is one over. We have four feet from the pin. Oh! Terrible, 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 terrible. Terrible. Two feet from the pin. There we go! This is the par! Right, this is level par, this is. Five, four, four, three, five. I quite like this game, actually. Um, now, I'm not particularly good at golf games, but this is what I can do. Anyway, it's a good game. I like this. Doing well at this. Okay, the next game is an Amiga game this time. Now, this is individually boxed as well. I'm <clears throat> losing my voice. That's not good. Uh, right, this is called Falcon. Falcon. Never played it, never heard of it. By Spectrum Holobyte. Climb into the Falcon cockpit and prepare for the flight of your life. This award winning flight simulation of the F 16 Fighting Falcon is a legendary, legendary software classic from Spectrum Holobyte. State of the art 3D graphics puts you in the heat of the battle as you select from 12 heart pounding missions, accurate weapon systems, head up display and cockpit controls, add to the reality of the excitement. Ready for takeoff? Hold on to your pilot's seat and kick in the afterburners. Claim the skies as Falcon territory. Never heard of it. This is a really heavy box. I'm not surprised, the book is incredibly thick. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> This is Falcon on the Amiga this time. Now, never played this before, but as I've said in some of my previous unboxing videos, I'm not particularly good at flying games, especially from that perspective. Look at the size of this book. I mean, this book is thick. It's like a dictionary. It's really thick. So, yeah. I ain't got time to read all that. Right, the reason why it wasn't working, Jamie, is because it's mouse. I'm definitely a rookie. Yes. Definitely, 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 yes. <laughs> We've got a milk run, a black bandit, a rattlesnake roundup, a double trouble, a dragon's tail, a dragon's jaw, hornet's nest, bear's den, a Venus flytrap, a strike palace, a double dragon, I played that earlier, and grand slam. Good morning, sir. Hello, everybody. We pre-configured her last night. All set and good luck. We'll just make some final checks. Yeah. 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 Okay. Ready to go. Let's go. Take off. Okay. Now, I am terrible at these sort of games. Um, I don't know why, but I am. I'm more of a side-scrolling shoot -em up myself. Right. So... How do we take off? Right, I've just shot a missile on the ground. Okay, perhaps I do need to look at the instructions. Part 1, your first flight in Falcon. Well, that's a good start. About this manual. It's thick. Um, hardware requirements. An Amiga. Good start. Part 1, your first flight in the Falcon. My word, look at it. <laughs> Take off is what I need. Right. 
Okay. That matches that. Right. The Falcon Cockpit. We have the head-up display. G is the gravity force indicator. Airspeed scale in tens of ton. Te stall light. Flaps light. Air brakes light. Wheel brakes light. This is going to be very complicated. This is a bit more complicated than driving a car. Cockpit orientation. I just want to learn to fly. The flight path ladder. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my word. The rest of the cockpit. Uh, the AOA in Dexter. How do we take off? About the milk run. Okay. The objective of the milk run mission is to destroy one more of the buildings located five miles east of your home base. On this mission, you use AGM-65 Maverick air-to-ground missiles. I fired one on the ground by mistake. Grass takeoffs are line for whirlbirds. Get your habit in keeping your plane on the runway. Grass takeoffs are fine for whirlybirds, harriers, insects, and other assorted creatures, but not for your F-16. At upper ranks, you must stay on the runway unless you want to be permanently grounded. Well, I'm permanently grounded at the moment. I ain't going anywhere. Hold the throttle increase key, which is plus. Whoa, we're moving. We're moving. I'm still reading. Continue on the straight... Uh, Caution. 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 Yeah, this isn't good, is it? After Caution. takeoff, you need to retract your landing gear by pressing the G key. Caution. There we go, she stopped saying caution. Switch to the left view. Uh, look at your landing gear. All three lights should be off. I might be breaking the law a little bit here because I'm actually flying a plane while reading. Okay, we've got different views. Okay, so we've got different views as well. We can look there, there. There, 15 miles from base. I think we've got a little bit off track. Altitude. Oh, okay. Right. Autopilot, get me back to where I need to go. Please. Mind those, though. Mind the pyramids. I just went through the pyramids. What sort of aircraft is this? I can see the bottom of the box now. Okay, another heavy box, and this is another one I've not played before. Okay, the next game is Virtual World. This is a C64 game released by Domark. And there's actually four games in this box. The 3D Game Collection, it's got Driller, Total Eclipse, Castle Master, and The Crypt. I've not played any of them. So yeah, it's got two cassettes, one game on each side. Browsers. Driller. Never played it. It's got music. It's always good when these games have music. Right, so as you can see, it's a 3D perspective. Now, I don't think I've ever played a game like this on the CC4 before. So. What do we have to do? We have angle, step, extend, shield, energy, plan, driller federation, gas built up, amethyst, and side. Right, okay, so what do we have to do? Ah, oh, we can fire. Okay. Oh, we don't fall off the edge. There's a timer at the top right. I've got a feeling there are going to be enemies that are going to be shooting at me. I'm assuming. X marks the spot. So, do I have to drill here? Now it's something to do with this X. Ah, you shoot the X. 
Okay, the exit disappears. We're not drilling it, we're shooting it. Okay, so whether that's what you have to do, <clears throat> I'm not sure. Gas builds up amethyst. Right, what's this thing over here? We'll collect that. What is that? Whatever it is, I didn't collect it, I drove over it. Let's try shooting it. Ah, shooting it opens a door. Okay. Whoa, am I going to get through that door? It's not a particularly big door. Oh, we're going through the door. Oh my god, I'm getting shot at. I'm taking hits. I don't know what's hitting me. Something's hitting me. Uh, get shot by something. Turn. Turn. Oh, killed by a block. Shaped like a goalpost. Total eclipse. <clears throat> I'm guessing this game is extremely similar. Okay, this is the crypt. Now it looks like we're inside a cage. Right. Now this is pretty much a keyboard game. And I've wrote down them on my pad because the instruction book is in French. Uh, okay, so we need to open this door. Now I know what we have to do now. We have to open this. Now one of these is bad, one of them is not. I think it's this one. Right, pressing the space bar will unlock your crosshair. L makes you look down. And then A is action. A is action. Right, the lid opens, it's open. Now we pick up the key, we have a key, so press P to look up. Okay, the space to lock, and then we go to the door. Now R is run, P is look, up, L is look down, F is face forward, R is run, W is walk, C is crawl, I is info screen, and F is sound effects. Right, so we need to use the key. The door opens! Woohoo! We're out! I've achieved the first screen. This is the Crypt Corridor. Lots of doors now. Lots of doors. Now if you press R, you actually run. What is that? Uh, uh, what is it? In, uh, examine. The mouse trap. What is that? A piece of cheese on the table? Uh, action. Chomp, chomp. Let's add some cheese. Now I'm flashing. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Now it's flashing. That's, that's, that, that happened because I ate a piece of cheese. What sort of cheese was that? Huh? You collapse. I died. Something killed me. I don't know what. I don't know what was killing me. Castle Master. Select the character you wish to play. Prince. Now it sounds like pretty much the same game because it's got the same music, the same look to it. Different area.
I wonder we've got to shoot that, you know. I really do. Yay! There we go. I figured something out on my own. How do you make an entrance? Shoot it with a stone. Alright. We enter the castle. We are now inside the castle. I don't know what to expect in this castle. Right, is this, is this harming me? I don't know. Right, something harms you, you shoot it with a stone and that... Okay, stop the flashing. I'm assuming when it's flashing, that's draining your energy. I just fell in the water. You collapse. Okay, next game. This is an Amiga game. And it's another one I sort of own, in a way. This is called the Super Fighter. Now, the reason why I said I've sort of got it is because I've got Final Fight. This has got Final Fight on it, Pit Fighter, and I have to admit, I'm not a wrestling fan, but this has got WrestleMania on it, which is done by Ocean. So, that'd be interesting. Final Fight is good, but not great on the Amiga. WrestleMania, I will, watch, I will try, even though I'm not a fan of wrestling. Pit Fighter is okay as well. Pit Fighter. Now, it's been years since I played the Amiga version of this. 1991, 10 Gen. Okay, we'll go for the kickboxing champion. Ty. It's Ty versus the Executioner. I am wearing the red trousers. The Executioner is wearing the blue trousers. Now, my character is a kickboxer. Now, you can use lots of different kicks and punches, and you also have weapons. And you can hit them while they're on the ground. Now my energy bar is the green bar, and his energy bar is the red bar. It's been a lot of years since I played this. Not brilliantly done, but that is a KO. I earned 1,400, and then this is where you get extra bonus. This is totally studly. KO bonus, brutality bonus. $1,140. No wonder he's punching the air. Match two is south side. Unfortunately, your health does not replenish. Now, you can pick up crates in this one. Which I'm trying to do. Now, the crowd does help you from time to time because they provide you with weapons. And also, if you are pushed into the crowd, they will push you back into the fight. So they place wagers on you, or on them, depending on who they're going for. <laughs> I did everything wrong there. Everything wrong. Have some of that. There we go. Did lose a life there. Grudge match. Last fighter standing win. Now, as random as it is, you're actually against yourself. So it's a mirror match. Now, each of you get three circles. Every time you knock the, the opponent down, you lose one of your circles. So it's whoever loses their three circles first loses. There we go. He lost all three of them. Just wait. Right, the power pill. This level has the power pill. Right, this is Angel. Who's female? She's throwing barrels at me. Now you can pick up the weapons. You've got stars, you've got pieces of wood, and barrels, and knives. Oh, word. Kick to the face. There's the power pill. Ah, that's what I wanted. I think it makes you invincible. Sure it does. 
Right, my energy is terrible. Blimey. It's a lot more difficult than I remember. Wow, look at my energy. How low is that? It does not replenish. Apologies to all you wrestling fans out there. I am not a wrestling fan. I never have been. I never got into this sport. But this is an unboxing. I will do it for this video. WrestleMania. We'll go for the Hulkster. Hulk Hogan. You might be big. You might be be strong. You might look good, but you just ain't perfect. Now I th I have played this on the Mega Drive. That was a long time ago. I went around one of my friends' houses in the old days and we played it on there. I've never played the Amiga version, and the reason why I haven't played the Amiga version is because I'm not into wrestling. So you've got to waggle the joystick to win the grapple, and I seem to be losing every single time. But I am Hulk Hogan! And I've spent more time on the ground than I have on my feet! There we go, I won that one. That gave you a headache. It's going to be a lot of this. Right. Jamie, you gotta be a bit quicker than that. Oh, blimey. He's going for it. He missed. He missed. Oh, blimey. He's worn out for this. Ah. Right. Ah. He's down, he's down, I'm holding him down, I'm holding him down, I'm holding him down. Woohoo! I don't like wrestling, but I won. Well, can I win two in a row? I don't know. Now, I seem to have started off with less energy. Now, I have to make sure, when I, it comes to waggling the joystick, I do it quickly. Okay. Uh, have some of that. Ow! You need to be a bit quicker at that, Jamie. I was doing quite well. How about that? I don't know how I did it. That was a combo. Ha! That's mine! No, look at my energy compared to his. No, ah, I'm out. Never mind. Okay, a final fight. The Creative Materials production for US Gold 1991. Okay, we'll go for Cody. Okay, this is final fight. Now, I did actually own this one before receiving this version. Um, Final Fight is a fantastic game. However, the Amiga version does look good, but it's a little on the slow side. That's the only problem with it. It's a little bit slow. Anyway, my health is terrible already. I'm playing as Cody, and I've got a piece of pipe. And I'm hitting people with it. Now, this game on the Amiga has no in-game music. So again, like I did with Double Dragon, I might put some music in. 
Otherwise, it's a little bit too quiet. Apart from the, psh, 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 that's it. That's all you get. Now I'm slightly outnumbered. I'm in the middle of a sandwich, a big bull sandwich. Now Final Fight has always been quite difficult, um, but I've played lots of versions in, in my life. You can't beat the arcade version. Now it has been released on next gen consoles, it's on Xbox Live, it's been released on certain compilations, but it's, it's fantastic. Right, now I'm using Guy. This is the first boss. Now in other versions, he will actually jump onto the side, whistle, and then call in for reinforcements. This version, he does not call in for reinforcements. He doesn't even whistle. So in its ways, a little bit easier than other versions. Now we're at the subway station. I'm actually doing better with Guy than I was with Cody. Now usually it's the other way round. I'm usually better with Cody. Now when you've got lots of enemies on the screen, this game does struggle. It really does slow down quite badly. If there's only one or two characters on the screen, it's okay. Okay, the train has arrived. Now, I've always liked the sound effects with the train on this game. Okay, now we are Hagar. Right, we're in a ring! Again! I've just been in a wrestling ring, now I'm in a wrestling ring again. Okay, this is... One of the bonus stages. You have to smash the car up. Quite a lot of these old school beat em ups has this sort of level. Uh, but yes, I'll try them out. But that's a really lot of weight to it, once again. I mean, wow, okay, there's more inside actually. What's this? Oh, there's more in the box. Oh. Oh, okay. James. <laughs> that was sneaky of you, James. Okay, we've got more. There's more! Okay, you put cases inside boxes. So, okay, we're not done yet. Okay, we've got Operation Wolf. I didn't realise that one was in there, but I actually played that on one of my streams, but the Amiga version, but I've never played the CC4 version, so that'd be interesting to see. Brilliant arcade conversion, fast and frantic, and strad action. It's fantastic Zap Sizzler. Arcade chart top luck, brilliantly fast, furious. Who doesn't like Operation Wolf? Right, Operation Wolf Control Selection, Neo's Mouse Import 2, and then you get a mouse. Right, I've only ever played this on the PlayStation 2 and the Amiga version, and of course the arcade, but that was a long time ago. Never played it on the C64. This is indeed a first. Operation Wolf on the C64. First time I've played it on the Commodore 64. This is done by Ocean. It looks pretty good. However, I'm using a joystick, not a mouse. I don't have a mouse for a C64. I don't even know you can get a mouse for a C64. Now, spacebar is your grenades. Now, that kills everyone, including the civilians. Now, we need to kill 35 people. Four helicopters and five tanks. This is really difficult to do with a joystick. <clears throat> but I think it does really, really good. I, I mean, it's Ocean, say no more. Ocean do make really good games. And I think for the C64, this is a pretty decent attempt. Few rockets left. Right. One more helicopter. Right. These helicopters take so many hits. <clears throat> right. 
in. Oh, I still got 24 people to kill, but my energy is criddle. Mind you, that is health, but it's quite difficult to shoot. Throw nice at you. Eighty more people, but then look at my energy. Not particularly good. Only a few bullets left. I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Uh, yeah. Fatal injury sustained. Six. Out of ammo, out of energy, critical, death. Cannot get any worse than that. And they're still shooting me, you know I'm dead? Just, they're just making sure, they're just making sure I'm dead. You have sustained a lethal injury. Sorry, but you are finished here. Another excellent rap by the awesome James Roger himself. Ah, this is an interesting box. Okay, we're going on to James Bond now. This is A View to a Kill. Now, I've seen the film many times. Never played the game, though. But it's in a plastic case. I can't get into it. James Bond is back on his latest secret mission. Now you take his part in these three exciting arcade adventure games taken straight from the film. Your name is Bond. James Bond world's top secret agent and now embarking on one of the most important missions of your career. We shall try it out, won't we? Released by Domark. Roger Moore was the Bond at the time. James Bond! James! James Bond. There he is. Robert R. Brocholi, A View to a Kill, 1985, Glide Rose Productions. Mayday has jumped from the Eiffel Tower and is now parachuting to her drop point. Follow her and get there first. Watch out for the police and the roadblocks. Joyce the controls, forward as accelerate, reverse brake, steer left, steer right, shoot and handbrake turn is reverse and fire. Right, so up is accelerate. Now make sure you keep your car central in the road, otherwise you'll hit the walls when you try to turn. That's the parachute. I need to get to the jog point before the parachute does. But there's arrows pointing all over the place. I'm not 100% sure which way I'm supposed to go. But I'm not the only car on the road. Now the music playing is actually Duran Duran. Right, don't go too fast, Jamie. Ah, you can fire! I forgot you could fire. Yes, this is James Bond. Of course he's going to fire. I think every car he's got has got some kind of weapon. some point or another. Okay. Starting to get the hang of it. Once the confidence is a little bit higher, then I'll start to go a little bit... Whoa, not that fast, Jamie. Whoa! Am I reversing or going forward now? Made it, uh, follow her and get there first. Right, follow her. That's the Eiffel Tower. Right, how can I follow her if she doesn't know where she's going? I've got to follow you, but I don't know where you're going. But I have lost the parachute. But it does. It did seem like she didn't know where she was going. She was just going around in circles. Let's try sound effects only. Let's 
Sounds like a Morse code. I'm just going to follow the parachute. You did say follow, didn't it? But this is France. This is Paris. That's the Eiffel Tower. Excuse me! Hey! Excuse me! Excuse me! This isn't this isn't destruction derby, you know. Right, the bleeping has completely stopped. I'm guessing that she's absolutely nowhere in sight. Oh! Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I just drove through a barrier. Are you supposed to hit that? Oh! Roadblock! Roadblock! And... I can't get out of this. That I can't be blamed for that. It's those two nutty drivers. I do actually own a Duran Duran Greatest Hits album at home. I quite like to hear it now. Even though I sort of am. Damn it, you failed Bond! Should say again. Ah, both! Music and sound effects. So now we've got Dancing Into the Fire with bleeps. Follow the parachutes. But she doesn't know where she's going. I will try and get there before her. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Bond, James Bond, we're now on foot. He's got really long legs. So we can jump. We can run. Examine. Box. Oh, I've got the box. Oh! Well, that's going to hurt in the morning, I think. Well, is he... is he... James Bond is a gymnast. Uh, no, no, no. Now I'm stuck in the pixels. Okay, this is the final one. That was a lot in that box. Mate, I really appreciate it. You're an absolutely awesome guy. Okay, this is the Amiga game. Okay, the final game and the final item from this box is Suburban Commando. This is an Amiga game starring Hulk Hogan. The game is okay. I played it a very, very long time. And the film, even though it's incredibly cheesy, it's not bad. It's not bad. But we shall try it. Again, this feels quite heavy. <laughs> and the reason why it's heavy, there's more. There's more. Okay, we're not done yet. Okay. This is like a one-sided game of pass the parcel. We open one box, and there's another one. Right. Ah, okay. Right, it's... Okay, next game. Right, it's another one I've never heard of, but it's in another plastic case. Okay, this is by Llama Soft Software. This is Laser Zone. Never heard of it. It is a dark time for the Turin Federation, the evil empire of Irata, and the devilish war fiends of Zayak. Are attacking all Terran outposts, including yours. Your task is to coordinate the defensive fire of the two powerful plasma cannon, each capable of destroying your enemies or each other. Be warned, you won't find it easy. Laser Zone is a game which depends on your skill and concentration. It includes unique move, tilt and fire, control of the two plasma cannons, smart bombs and an attack wave countdown indicator. Have fun. I apologise about my reading though, that was appalling. That came out in 1983 by Jeff Minter. Never heard of it, but we shall try it out. Laser Zone, an original concept by Jeff Minter. 1983 Llama Soft, F1 Solid, F3 Individual, F5 Level, F7 Joysticks. Press fire to begin. 
Well, we are solo. That is for sure. Primary zone battle stations. Oh, okay. Right, left and right controls the spaceship down the bottom. Primary zone battle stations. Okay. Right, so left and right controls... I will say in a minute. Left and right controls left and right bottom spaceship. Up and down controls spaceship on the right hand side of the screen. Blimey. Primary station battle stations. Right, quite a lot to think about. It's it's quite complicated because you've got to You can? What are they, dogs? They mustn't land. Hey, I'm getting the hang of this now. Mind you, I'm covering half of it. He is a fast character. Right, what happens now? Because they're on the ground. Primary zone battle stations. Yeah, you've got to be looking in two areas at once, which can be quite tricky, especially if they're going at speed. Oh, now they're shooting at me. Um, I don't know what happens once they're landed, because you can't shoot sideways. Unless you can do that. Can you... Can you shoot the ones at the bottom with the one on the side? Cleared it? Did it feel sorry for me? How did I clear that one? That was a disaster. Ah, uh, one. Now I'm going to let one drop. I'm going to see if it's winnable. Oh, what happened there? Ah, oh, okay. So you've got to get that threshold to zero. Oh my word. That was terrible. Is that a boss? Could be a boss. It's fire me, whatever it is. Hang on a minute. That one at the bottom changed direction. That went a slight angle. Can you shoot at an angle? You can shoot at an angle! Well, I didn't know that! That helps! Look! You can shoot at an angle! Right! I didn't know... Right! Okay, that changes things. Right! Okay, you can shoot at an angle. That would explain it. If one lands on the bottom, you can shoot it with the side by shooting at an angle. Right. Look, there we go! How cool is that? That's better. That makes it a little bit more easier. I did wonder if there was another twist to this tale. There we go, in the right place, at the right time. Nice. Who's getting the hang of it? Me! I'm getting the hang of this. See, now one's landed. So you gotta help each other, you gotta try and help each other out. Even though I'm going solo. Blimey. Trouble is you're fo focusing on one side and then not focusing on the other side. I didn't even stand a chance, I got struck by lightning. Oh, we can shoot each other! Oops, I didn't know that. Oh dear, I didn't know that. Okay, you can actually shoot each other. Sorry, I didn't know. But then I'm apologising to myself, because I'm controlling both. But you're trying to focus on both sides. Yeah, yeah, I was sandwiched between two unknown items. 
Right, I need some assistance. I need some assistance. Look at that! Teamwork! By me! Now I need help. How about that? Oh. That was very nearly getting out of a very dangerous situation that I didn't actually mean to do. I quite like it. It's quite a decent little shooter. Once you get the hang of it. I've never heard of this game before. Laser, laser zone. I mean, this would be quite fun if you're doing it as two player, I think. Electric shots. You can use a limited amount of this very effective weapon. It destroys all enemies that are... F ah! Right. Pressing C is a weapon. Right. When you press C, that does some kind of electrical weapon which kills everything on the screen. See, again, something else I didn't know. So that could be handy. Right. There we go. Unfortunately, I got a bit of a tangle there. Uh, I need some assistance. I get attacked by cats. Cosmo cats. And this is another plastic case. And again, wrapped. Very, very well. Okay, last game for Absolute Real this time. This is Terminal Software Star Command. Never heard of it. Your mission, the galaxy is under attack by cosmic invaders, galactic pirates and Susonic raiders have all been brought trade to the standstill. And who put the mines in the space lanes? However, somebody has got to sort it out. There's a new rookie starting, what's his name? Don't expect he'll last long. Don't expect he'll get his Star Commando wings. If he does, he'll have earned them. Delightful 3D perspective. 16 sector galaxies. 100% machine code fast action. High res flicker free sprite graphics. Full color great sound effects. Hall of Fame feature. Play with joystick or keyboard. Never heard of it. But there we go. That is it now. Terminal Software proudly present Star Commando. It's getting louder. It's getting louder. Pilot to log in, please. Alright, select sector. How about we go for A? Warp in progress. Space minefield. Okay, so it's a first person shooter in space. Right, okay. Looks. Well, the rules of the game seem fairly straightforward. Shoot the whatever they are before they hit me. But move quickly, Jamie, because they are, they are hitting me. They're damaging me. They are affecting me. They are hurting me. Fireworks. When they explode, they're like fireworks. Warp in progress. Okay. Successful? I think so. Sector clear. Select the sector. Well, got the B really, shouldn't we? That's what we should do. Right, now we have these things. Whatever they are, I don't know. Oh, they're cosmic kamikazes. <laughs> That's what they are. There's more of them. And they are going in a different sequence. They are hitting me though. Mothership. Mothership. So this is F. Um. Right, fire button is not working. It's making a sound. Sonic Bombarder. What's that? It's gotta be quick. He's shooting at me.
Jamie, you gotta be quick on the button! I'm shooting him, but he's shooting me even quicker. Meteor Storm? Right, this might be... Ooh, that's chilly. These don't seem to be as fast, and they don't seem to shoot. But they are... hitting me. They are pounding my spaceship! You gotta be quick. You gotta be so accurate. Oh, no. Game over. Press a key. To re-energize, you must move to the sector containing the mothership and dock your sights with the sight which descends from the mothership. You must be very accurate and acoustic signal will indicate successful docking. Scoring. Right, okay. Looks like Star Wars Starfighters. Luke, the force will be with you. Always, in, even in the Galactic Pirates. These are Galactic Pirates? They don't like Galactic Pirates to me, they look like TIE Fighters. And there's a lot of them. Ooh. The mother ship. Right, you have to... Align your crosshair with their crosshair. It flashes when you know you're there. Did I do it? I don't know. 37 energy, it's not looking good for me. The Sonic Raiders, low on fuel, low on energy. However, I'm close to beating my high score. I'm dead. Death by saucers. Right, now that really is it now. Now I didn't actually read the back of Suburban Commander, did I? World famous wrestling superstar Hulk Hogan stars in Shep Ramsey Suburban Commander in his multi-level, multi-star, all-action game based on the storyline of the hit film you control Shep in his epic battle against the forces of evil, General Stuta. Suta. Featuring three styles of game, a shoot 'em up, one on one combat, and massive platform levels, this is the game that you will have you coming back to its time and time again. Smooth graphics, fast action, great music, and sound effects, and the Hulkster himself. What more do you need? Get blasting now. Suburban Commando, 1991, New Line Cinema Corporation, always reserved. And this is the second time Mr. Hulk has appeared in this unboxing video. This time, it's not in a wrestling ring. Okay, level one, approach to starship. Okay. Right, now thinking back on it, I thought I had a box version of this a very, very long time ago. I don't think I did. I played a demo. Definitely, de definitely played a demo. And it wasn't a shoot 'em up, it was a. I was on foot. Now, I'm a big shoot 'em up fan. I have to admit, the firepower of this spaceship isn't all that, but you can get upgrades. So, what level did I play in the old days on the demo disc? That's interesting. I have seen the film many, many times, but it was many, many years ago. I don't even know if you can get it on DVD. I remember hiring out from uh, Blockbuster Video in the old days, and they're definitely not around anymore. We have missiles. Now when they've got nowhere to go, they go round me, and then blow up. Yeah. Good music as well, I quite like the music to it. Alright, now we're shooting backwards. Shoot in lots of directions. And we're invincible! I had no idea this game was going to be like this. Whoa! Weapon upgrade! I quite like this. 
But this game is a platformer as well. I can't reach that. Right. Energy. Not great. I'm glad it's not a one hit die situation sort of game. I've got three missiles. And they are doing their best. Can you get energy? Right, full energy. There we go. Wow, I might actually get past this level. I've done it. I've done it. No bosses. No bosses. Okay, this is the level I've played. This is on the demo disc. Level 2, inside the starship. We are now on foot. Okay, so a little bit different now. Okay. No longer are we in a spaceship. Now he's using his feet and his fists. Not brilliantly well, though. Right, so we need keys. He's dazed, he's confused. Right, so we need keys. Up the ladder. We have a banana, we have an apple, and a few other things I didn't quite see. No keys. We've got bombs. How do we use the bombs? Spacebar? No, he doesn't have a particularly big range when he punches. You've got to be very, very close. The trouble is, these enemies fire. Ah, oh, we got a key. We have a key. But plant bomb. Okay, okay, right, okay. We have to plant all the bombs. So, one done, six to go. Game over. <laughs> and he's still shooting me in the ear. There we go. <laughs> okay, everybody, that is the end of my video. A huge, huge, huge thank you to James Roger, aka Rusty James, as he likes to call himself. There are 31 games there. Thank you so much. Don't worry, your collection is safe with me. I'm not going to sell them, even though some of them I've already got. There's plenty of space. I've made sure I've made space, so I will look after them. But I'm going to test all of them out. Now, I think 31 games is a little bit too extreme for one video. So I'm going to do it as two, maybe three. You never know. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to enjoy doing this video, or videos. If you've already watched them, thank you. If this is video one, there's another one. If this is video two, you've seen video one, I hope. But anyway, this is Jamie Borg of this Games. Please like, please comment, please share. And please do subscribe to my channel, I have a Facebook fan page, on Instagram, also on Twitch. Just type in Morgan's Game, you should find it fairly easily. And please remember to click on the bell icon, that will notify you any videos I upload, but that will be fantastic. We're not doing these sort of videos, I do retro long plays without cheats. I do have a beat making and live streams every Friday night, UK time at 8 o'clock. <gasps> so please join me for that, it's the highlight of my week. There's a lot of information there, I need to breathe. But anyway, I've said a lot on this unboxing, but I'm going to try them all out. So thank you very much, take it easy, ciao bye, see ya.